we want to simplify the following expressions completely. The first expression is x to the seventh divided by x to the second. Let's first simplify this expression by expanding, and then we'll simplify it again using the quotient property of exponents. We know x to the seventh means we have seven factors of x in the numerator, and x to the second, or x squared, means we have two factors of x in the denominator. So expanding, again we'd have seven factors of x in the numerator, and two factors of x in the denominator. From here we can simplify, x divided by x simplifies to one. From here we can simplify, x divided by x simplifies to one here, as well as here. Notice how this leaves us with five factors of x in the numerator, so this simplifies to x to the fifth divided by one, which equals x to the fifth. Now let's review the quotient property of exponents. The quotient property of exponents tells us that a raised to the power of m divided by a raised to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power of m minus n. So when dividing and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents, and when subtracting, it's always the exponent in the numerator minus the exponent in the denominator. So applying the quotient property of exponents to this first expression, x to the seventh divided by x to the second is equal to x raised to the power of seven minus two, which equals x to the fifth. Looking at the next expression, we have two to the 29th power divided by two to the 16th power. So because we're dividing and the bases are the same, we can apply the quotient property of exponents, and therefore this quotient is equal to t raised to the power of 29 minus 16, and 29 minus 16 is equal to 13, and therefore the expression simplifies to t raised to the power of 13. Next we have two to the eighth divided by t to the fourth. Again, we're dividing and the bases are the same, so we can apply the quotient property of exponents this is equal to two raised to the power of eight minus four. Eight minus four is equal to four, and therefore this quotient simplifies to two to the fourth. But because the base is two, we can evaluate this. Two to the fourth is equal to four factors of two, which equals 16. Again, two to the fourth is equal to two times two times two times two, which equals 16. Now for the last expression, notice how we have subtraction here, not division, so we cannot apply the quotient property of exponents. What we can do is evaluate two to the fifth and two to the third, and then find the difference. So two to the fifth is equal to 32, and two to the third is equal to eight. And again, for a review, two to the fifth is equal to five factors of two, which is equal to 32, and two to the third is equal to three factors of two, which equals eight. And now we can find the difference. 32 minus eight is equal to 24. So this last expression simplifies to 24. It's also a reminder to pay close attention to the operation being performed, so we apply the correct exponent property. I hope you found this helpful.